Uh, 35-4, uh, narrow-belted uh, male pig comes out here. Uh, pedigree would be uh, dash eight, um, no huddle. Uh, his mom would be a 69 litter, uh, no huddle sow. We've got about four of those that uh, th this would be their their guilt litter. This go round and uh, uh, sure looks like they're going going to do a good job. Uh, this this bigger outlined uh, greener made pig, but uh, I've said it a few times, uh, man. The, these dash eights are good good feeding pigs. Uh, I, I think this guy, if you give him time and manage him properly, uh, can make you a really nice show barrow. You know, this one's uh, maybe a few pounds lighter than a few of them are viewing. Again, check with Will on that on feeding styles on the, some of these sow lines and stuff. And what uh, you just you want to optimize everything that they've got and take them to the right uh, paces that they need to be. And this one could be fed pretty, pretty quick and and and, and roll right along with protein. Uh, that one is a very good looking, good built one with really good elevation. You, and he's, but yet he's proportionally good. He's not too long bodied for his own good. And that one's going to come together, uh, I think, really in a really big time way because. Again, all the indicators are there, but he's green and he's building his feed him and go. And, and uh, um, again, I could picture that one being a very good heavyweight because of the, the extension of the front and the elevation that he's got and the length of the cannon bone he's got. Uh, that's, again, just a, a, a no excuse. It's kind of a hog with good indicators. Green and he's built. Just feed him and go. 35-4 male pig.